us go into this office. His office was bigger than our family's living room. He had the initials on his lapel, larger than life guy. We tried to ask him about his strategy and he said, you guys go out and find me corners. Find me corners in the best cities in Canada and maybe two or three in the United States. Because if you do that, I'm gonna make a lot of money. Fast forward today, Oxford's about a $42 billion business with 20 offices globally. When you reflect back, it wasn't such a bad strategy. Self-made entrepreneur and visionary, G. Donald Love was the founder of Oxford Properties Group, one of North America's leading real estate development firms. He made a permanent and positive mark on cities across the continent. He was the real deal. He was definitely the boss and had huge energy and huge vision. He was quite an amazing man. He had a great knack to pick a vision that would stretch everybody in the room, but also inspire them. And, you know, his most uh, successful quality was his ability to inspire people to achieve even more than they thought possible. He was a very successful first-generation entrepreneur and left a phenomenal legacy through the footprint of development projects across Canada. Another element of that was our stewardship of those assets that we were developing. You know, we're in building sustainable, real communities that we were uh, involved in. His passion was people. He loved young people. He loved listening to their stories, mentoring, coaching, pushing, prodding, challenging. Uh, sometimes it was frustrating, sometimes it was aggravating, but it was always productive because it, it brought the best out of all of us. Don produced some very skilled people in real estate, better than most people are doing these days. Developers hired construction companies. They didn't partner with construction companies. And Don had the vision and the foresight to pick someone like the Poole brothers. But in those days, it was unheard of. He was really one of the uh, reasons our company is so successful today, because he took us all around his network in North America to build for him. We built everything he developed. He trusted our people, and that set the stage for our ultimate success. There was never any ambivalence as to what you thought you should be doing and what you thought he wanted to achieve. For sure his legacy, many people will think it's the buildings, of which there are many. It's the people. And it's the people that learn from him, uh, were mentored by him. He developed people, and those people went on to lead other organizations that did the same thing, that went on to create economy and commerce and jobs right across uh, the, the continent. I've always considered it a great privilege to carry the same business card that Don Love carried. He had a very high level of integrity, a very high level of honor, a very high level of, um, you know, fairness. He set a standard and he set a tone for excellence that we all feel a certain responsibility to carry. And Don, I wish you were here to see what we've done with this organization because I think you'd be incredibly proud. Mm -hmm.